so again I am still trying to edit my one year video I have been extremely distracted still with a lot of stuff that's going on and even more stuff has popped up in my life and it's been extremely difficult for me it's been a very rough ride but I am here to just make another video for you um, I have gotten the papers in the mail for my name change as you saw in my previous video and I went back to my clinic for a second round of blood work because my T levels apparently were over a thousand and my doctor wants it to be no higher than 700 so there we go with my transition is stalled again and that is exactly why I don't look the way I should after a year. Um, my calcium levels were extremely high as well even though I'm not taking any supplements so that was a concern of hers and I needed second tests done. There's chances of dehydration causing this to happen. There are chances that there could be thyroid issues that are causing me to have these problems. Um, there can be plenty of reasons why this is happening and she's trying to break down what exactly is causing these problems. But there's a good chance that my dose is going to be changed again as well as the form that I'm taking it in. I may not be able to do injections anymore altogether. Um, topical cream was suggested for the way that my body is maintaining my T levels. Or she said that I can do 60 milligrams bi-weekly. Um, because of the finances, I may have to do 60 milligrams bi-weekly, but if I can find a way to have my income more stable again after I have my money situation taken care of, I may do the topical cream because injections are and still cause me severe anxiety and I have had my fiance helping me with my injections every day, every week. So that's one reason why I stopped doing the weekly shot videos because I haven't been able to do them myself for about six months. So that's just a little update of you know, bare minimum of what's going on in my life. There's definitely a lot more going on, but I don't want to burden you guys with all my unnecessary problems. But I will say that my gender marker change is now starting to go on the way. I'm calling people and having these letters being made for me. So that way I can go to City Hall and have my gender change and my name change on my birth certificate and then get my new ID and at some point do my social security card, but that's no rush. I need my ID because I may be applying for a job soon and I'm not going to be able to cash my checks. So this is another new experience coming up is now instead of my name, it's my gender. So this should be interesting and definitely look forward to more videos by me in the process of having my name, my gender changed. So since I didn't get to make an actual video about my Halloween night, I thought that I can show you what I did get to capture and you can see exactly what I was for Halloween. Mm. It's Halloween and I thought I'd do a video in my costume today as you can see. I. M Link. I thought it was a very clever idea since this year has been the year of my transition and Link is always being misgendered and called Zelda. So I thought, why not be Link, right? So here you go. I will also be having some clips from my Halloween night.